A confirmed seven jurors have been seated at the close of a full day of day one of the trial of Kelvin Vickers. That's right, the Boston man is accused of murdering Rochester police officer Anthony Mazurkowitz and injuring his partner, Officer Sino Sang, in an ambush shooting last summer. Isabel Garcia joining us live now outside the Hall of Justice with the latest on a very busy and full day, Isabel. Yes, that is very true, Adam. Good evening to both of you. Jury screening did take the court past 5 o'clock today, just about a little bit before quarter after. Uh, and of the 110 potential jurors which entered the courtroom this morning at 930, about 80 of them had already been dismissed by about lunchtime. Now, District Attorney Sandra Dorley tells us this will be a lengthy process with such a high profile case. They are going through, of course, all the motions of screening each potential juror, asking whether or not they can commit to the role for the four to five weeks at least it's expected to last, ensuring no bias, etc. And to give you an idea of what some of the questions entailed, the DA was asking prospective jurors what they think the role of a police officer is. The defense asking if anyone has ever been to a back the blue rally. This all questioning and really weighing whether or not the potential could take any experiences or personal beliefs and set them aside for the trial. Again, really trying to sift through the right candidates to keep that jury impartial. Vickers is facing several murder charges as the prosecution plans to argue he is also responsible for the murder of two other men in a triple shooting just prior to that ambush shooting, which had claimed the life of Officer Mazurkowitz. This all connected to a gang-led marijuana turf war last summer. Vickers assigned defense attorney Mike Shiano says his client has been very active and participatory in his own defense case. You know, he's focused on what's going to happen here. He's uh, been very helpful in terms of uh, helping prepare defense, and uh, we're prepared to go. He's a, he's a smart individual. He's, uh, he's very engaged in what we're trying to do for him at this point. It's going to be slow. I mean, the most important thing is that we get a fair and impartial jury and a jury that we can rely on yes. for what we believe will be a four to five week trial. So bear with us. It's going to be long. It's going to be um, painstaking, but I believe at the end we'll have a jury um, that will be perfect for this case. I'm also told they will be selecting four alternates for this case, and we're told it's something that's not unusual for a case of this magnitude, and of course, again, with that length of time that's expected for those jurors to serve on that panel. And jury selection, of course, will continue first thing again Monday morning. For now, we'll send things back to you in the studio. Reporting live outside of the Hall of Justice, Isabel Garcia, News 8.